about two and a half hours west of Shanghai lies the ancient city of Suzhou, which has blended the modern and the traditional so, so well. And it has uh, got some really futuristic elements, none more so than the uh, pretty new Suzhou Olympic Sports Center built in 2018. And a part of that has the indoor arena that is hosting the Total Energies BWF Sudirman Cup Finals 2023. This is the Mixed Team World Championships, first started in 1989. China hosting this event for the sixth time. It's won every time it's hosted it. We are slap bang in the middle of the uh, group stages with the quarterfinals and semifinals to come. Finals all culminating on Sunday. So, to start things off, we've got Indonesia versus Germany here on court one. There are always two sessions each day. Uh, the second session starts at 5 p.m. local time, and that is China against Singapore. There are 16 teams here, split into four groups of four. Our attentions are on Group B, who have yet to get their second round of matches underway, second round ties, I should say. There are five ties in each of these, five matches in each tie. We start off with Team Indonesia, of course, one of the most uh, renowned teams in World Badminton. They won the very first Sudirman Cup. They've been uh, runners-up six times. They'll be certainly looking to go one better than that this time. They haven't reached a final since 2007. They've got a massive squad as well. Yamakita! Eleven men and nine women. As for Germany, well, they have a squad of uh, six men and seven women, so it's a much smaller squad as well. They have not uh, quite hit the heights of their opponents today. Their best performances in 2013 and 2015 when they reached the quarterfinals. These two nations have never met before in the Sudirman Cup. And they're hoping to silence the Indonesians today, who are a noisy, noisy squad. Good fun as well. So there are five matches, as we said. We'll start with mixed doubles. Rino Rivaldi and Peter Hanningchas Mentari will take on Jonas Ralfi Janssen and Linda Effler. Moving to the men's singles, the one of the top players in the world, Jonathan Christie, will be playing Fabian Roth. And then to the women's singles, the only survivor from the tie against Canada yesterday, Gregoria Mariska Tunjuk, will take on Germany's Yvonne Lee. Moving into the men's doubles, Leo Roli, Garnando and Daniel Martin will be playing Mark Lamsdorf and Marvin Seidel, who had the only victory yesterday for Germany against Thailand. Uh, and then finally, the women's doubles, Apriani Rahayu and Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti will be up against Sheena Kushvert and Emma Muzinski. So even if one of these countries wins the first three, let's say, we will still need to go all the way till the final match. And that's because all of these points and games will count as well. So, mixed doubles is first. Rinov Rivaldi and Pita Hanningtias Mentari take on Jonas Ralfi Janssen and Linda Effler. Here are our players. Big task for these two, you feel, overall, with Indonesia being overwhelming favourites and would uh, look at least to getting to the semi-finals if they can, though, as I said, they haven't uh, done that in the uh, last competition they got to the quarterfinals. And failed to get to the quarter. This is the uh, third meeting between the two. Who's 
So the players just have a quick warm up. We'll find out a little bit more about them before we get to play underway. Starts with Mentari, who is uh, 23 years of age from the capital Jakarta. 157 centimeters tall, so not tall at all. And uh, well, can pack quite a punch. Ninth in the world. Currently 13th. Uh, sorry, ninth was the best age. A very short time ago. Uh, and her partner is 174 centimeters tall. So they are quite the pair, aren't they? They've won SEA Games, silver medals in 2019 and 21 in the women's team and men's team's events and the mixed doubles. They've won a bronze in 2019 and 2021. And uh, Mentari is a former mixed doubles champion. And uh, we look at uh, Jansen, who's 30 now, born in Indonesia. He's half German from his uh, father's side. He competed for Indonesia as a youngster and then uh, moved to Germany a few years ago. Now, Linda Eppler's 28. She's actually uh, taller at 178. And uh, 38 at the moment. Best ranking, by the way, of 24. Got achieved just a few months ago. The European Mixed Team Championships. Got silver in 2019. Bronze in 2021. And uh, that's... Uh, Janssen I'm talking about, representing Indonesia, the Asia Junior Championships. He was a bronze medalist in the boys' double and in the mixed team event. Oh. Fabio Lopez de Araujo from Brazil is our umpire. Oh. Emmanuel Capotele from uh, Botswana, our service judge. The Deppler's uh, European Championship silver medal in 2022, European Mixed Team Championships. He's got silver 2019, three bronzes in the Mixed Team event, uh, 2017, 21 and 23. And European Women's Team Championships in 2018 and 2014. Uh, silver, 2018, silver as well, 2014 and 2016, two bronzes. BWF World Tour. Marvin Seidel, when she was with him in mixed doubles, she was runner-up at the US Open. So here we go then. Well, that's a really good start into the far corner. Well, there will be the pairing to beat here with Rivaldi having won gold in a men's team event in the Sea Games, three bronzes as well, that was in 2019. He's a former World Junior Champion as well, 2017. And uh, he's won a couple of titles on the BWF World Tour with his partner, most recently in the Spain Masters 21. So they are starting to make uh, quite an impression for themselves, this Indonesian pair. It does appear as if uh, Indonesia are pretty much bringing out their big guns for this one in anticipation of the battle ahead with Thailand. So every player has been rotated except for Tunjong. First point on the board for the Germans.
quick points already, isn't it? In this. Trying to, as we have been saying throughout, for the teams of the underdogs in a, any kind of competition to keep the deficit as close as possible. Yeah, Effler quick to the net to put that one away. Yeah, it's only two now, so they've done well here. at the moment as you can probably hear oh, oh that's gone long that was a chance wasn't it just a bit longer that I remember the drift we've been seeing, by the way, for those wondering, is uh, from behind the Germans going towards the Indonesians, meaning that uh, they can't quite push through on all their shots. It might just... Uh, oh! So that one did well. From Janssen. This uh, camera view just, just gives you a very different perspective on it. And you can see there that Mantari is clipping the net. One point in it. really for the, the Germans to have battled back after being uh, not four down in fact taking the lead look at that delight from their camp they've won uh, eight of the last uh, 11 points so it's been a good swing here. <laughs> Uh, probably what we were talking about earlier, a bit of that drift that might just carry it through. Well, that's put away dismissively by Janssen.
Went for the flick serve. Oh, it's really misjudged that one. Badly. and actually do a pretty good job. Got to give them plenty of credit for the way they've gone about this. Whoa. Ten of the last 16 still in their favour. The Germans. Oh. That's just gone in. And they're just in front. He's got cross court there. Nicely done by Janssen. And it's the Germans who are just in front here. 11 10. Honestly, very hard to hear what's being said. Uh, by the coaches, but... Uh, oh, nicely done, delicately. Oh, Rivaldi. Right off this. Right, uh, deceiving his opponents in the process. Again, put away quickly by Divaldi, killing off a couple of these points quickly after the interval. Right into the uh, that midriff area for. Janssen, uh, of course, it's uh, very, very difficult to return. We saw the Indonesians yesterday, I think every match they started on the far end. They're looking to try and wrap this up in two in most of the matches, which they did yesterday. And uh, they'd rather finish on the better end, so-called, so-called better end. Five unanswered points now for the Indonesians since the interval. It really has swung back and forth, this, isn't it? Just 
hesitating. First point they've got since the interval, the Germans. And it doesn't last long. She's got the reach, hasn't, he? hasn't she, as well, Effler. So we've got to put some height on that. She's at the net. That's the easy one for her. Yeah, these are the ones uh, at the net that Effler will not have any problem with. Every time she can kill off, it's in that sort of area. Oh! Oh, done really nicely on the serve. Wow. They were looking very, very good here. Oh, amazing. Again, four points on the trot. No, I should say three points on the trot now. They were leading by five at one point here after the interval. That was, uh, Fighter for the Indonesians. Play on. No! Relentless from Jatsen. This is turning out to be quite the contest. We saw yesterday, if you recall, that uh, the Indonesians and their mixed doubles were also held to quite the contest in the first match against Canada. I think we were at 22 20. So hey. it's not. Uh, Always going to be smooth sailing. Oh! So there is a challenge. for the Germans.
Fox is annoyed. It's given a couple of vital points to the Indonesians. points then for Rivaldi and Mentari. It's good. Over the top of Rivaldi. the same. Again with the Indonesians standing in front of each other in a line. There's a lot to aim at. One splitting up the core between them. And that was spotted nicely by uh, Janssen. Again, the mixed doubles, the opening game is tight for Indonesia, but they come through. Rivaldi uh, Mantari take the first game against Janssen and Effler, 21-19. So, Vivaldi and Mentari look to try and uh, finish it off in two if they can. Indonesia will have a day's rest before they play Thailand. I think that's uh, perfect as far as these two countries are concerned. The issue with that is, of course, that you don't have a day's rest before the quarterfinals on the Friday, the 19th. to get back into the 
semi-finals have only failed to do it three times. And, uh, It's happened three times in the last five years, so that's concerning for them. 2013, 2017, and 2021. Again, almost identical to start here, four love. That's what they had earlier. Then the Germans started the fight back. And, uh, but it up to 4 2. But then actually, really surged ahead. There you go. That's it. Aggressive. Okay, the flick serve. to kill that off. It was in an excellent position there. Janssen, the Indonesians, pretty much at his mercy. And this will be a good view of it. Couldn't kill it there. It was just an awkward angle for him. That's another nice view of it. Oh, he's completely missed it. He knows it. Yeah, he'll be disappointed with that. anyway so that's worked out oh, a lot of power in that from uh, Linda Effler but go very far run away now from the Germans. This is on the... So it's correct, it's on yesterday, the Indonesian was starting on this side and ending on the far side. Oh! So different today, playing on the, what would be generally regarded as the harder side now. Going uh, with the drift. Yeah, he's not the tallest man in the world. That just sails over. That's it. Just got to be a little bit careful here. Again, very good from the Indonesians. They've really imposed themselves in the second game. And at the interval, it's 11-2 now. But they've already taken that first game, 21-19. Indonesia in so control. A little more pushing and standing ready. Okay? Uh, She's playing pretty good right now. Push the stand ready. I also think in this game, try to get in some Ubers. Okay? Because they're really just pushing forward. 
and if you get a lift, try also to just clear it over. Okay? Then we open up the court, and then hopefully we get some space. Okay? We don't care about the score now, we want to show some very good badminton. And we've just showed it just before, okay? So, schnelle Beine, fight for each other, fight for yourself. Look confident, come on. Come on, guys, come on. Okay. Instructions there to open up the court, and uh, coach saying, let's not worry about the score, let's just show some good badminton. Advice. This game, this match, you might you feel might uh, 11, might already be lost. Play. And therefore, Stop. might be just good to help themselves out. Trying that. Some pride here, perhaps. Nine points now, the gap. Yeah, those were going over for a while, weren't they, in the last game? It hasn't happened here. For Effler. So, a real concern now that... Uh, Happening. It's a massive lead, isn't it? This is now really big running away. 4 2 since the break, which isn't bad in the whole context of this game. Difficult. He took that so low down right near the floor, didn't he, Janssen? Not going to get much purchase from that. Look where he got it. Easy for Rivaldi. Just letting that go, good call from uh, Ventani. 6-3, now the scoring is sits the interval in favour of the Indonesians. Two uh, 
have uh, met twice before, as we said. The last time was in uh, the Hilo Open in 2022. Wonderful return from Rivaldi. Couldn't quite see it over. Yeah, that one was one in three by Rivaldi and Mitari. They lost the first one, 18-21, and they won the next two, 21-13, 21-19. In fact, the other time that they played, the Japan Open last year, was also in three. Rivaldi winning the first one, and Mitari, 21-19, 19-21, This one is looking positive for the Germans. Look at the record here of this pairing. They haven't won a single match this year. Lost all. Eight matches this year. Oh. Seven matches this year, I should say. So that's a concern. That's a real concern. It's 14 match points. As for... Mentari and Rivaldi, they've played 14 matches this year, they've won 8 of the 14. 96 of the 163 they've won. Most, uh, Janssen and Hefler have only won 17 of their 43, so less than a 50% win rate. So that's a, a good win there for the Indonesians. They've won this very comfortably in the end. A close first game. But then they storm the second uh, in complete contrast. And a superb achievement there for them. Very nicely done. Good performance. Got to a good start. The so called harder end as well to boot. So, a fine win there for the Indonesians. So they just take the claim, of course, for that starting place in the next match, which uh, probably were our favourites to anywhere. Rivaldi and Matari beat Janssen and Effler 21 19, 21 7. They've done it in 34 minutes. have taken a 1-0 lead here in this tie. Next up, men's singles. Jonathan Christie takes on Fabian Roth. That's up next.
So, back at the Sudirman Cup, we've got the men's singles now. The second match of the day, Indonesia taking on Germany. John De Christie in the men's singles will be looking to add to Indonesia's scoreline here against Fabian Roth. So men's singles time now here in the Sudirman Cup between uh, Indonesia and Germany. It's Jonathan Christie taking on Fabian Roth from Germany. And it's another massive, massive uphill struggle you feel for the Germans in this one. First meeting between these two. Yesterday it was Anthony Ginting. Who was playing? Today it's Christie. He's uh, almost 180 from the capital Jakarta. A man who has won plenty in his career. And uh, including Sudirma Cup two bronzes in 2015 and 2019, Thomas Cup gold in 2020. Two silvers in 2016 and 22, a bronze in 2018. He's also the Asian Games champion. He gets to defend that later this year. More on him in a while. Here's a man who's uh, a lot taller, 191, 27 year old uh, Fabian Roth from Karlsruhe in Germany. He is uh, currently 94th. His best was 34th. That was achieved in July of 2017, so quite some time ago. He's won uh, bronze medals for Germany in the European Mixed Team between 2015 and 2023 the European men's team championships he's won a couple of bronzes as well in 2014 and 2018 he's a former European junior champion in 2013 he won the boys singles he has yet to win on the BWF world tour John and Christie has won the Asian championship medals a bronze last year the men's singles event and Three goals in the Asia Team Championships, 2016, 18, and 20. Ready, ready, Previously, ready, ready, ready. four goals for Indonesia in men's team and men's singles between 2015 and 2019. In terms of the tour, he has won four titles. Most recently, the Indonesia Masters, just a few months ago. Henrik Boas Olsen from Denmark is the umpire. He also won the Swiss Open the Australian Open in 2019 and the New Zealand Open that year as well. Andrea Chiappini. Chiappini is the Italian service judge. Ladies 
Chair, represented by Jonathan Christie. Germany to serve. Love all. Play. One, love. That's uh, in. It's good there from Rutt. Oh, yesterday, Ginting up against Brian Yang. He too took uh, a little bit of time to uh, really get into his stride. It's a fine start here. Beyond the reach of Rutt. That's better from Christie. Not really able to put on a run of points at now. That, that would be uh, very concerning as far as Christie's concerned. A little bit better. Now he wants a run of points himself. Canada. It was in the opening match, they were held uh, to a pretty tight first game, as we said. Three, five. Adnan Molana and Nita, Nita Violina Marwa only won that 22 20. Ginting and Brian Young, that also was quite tight to start with. Be better for Christie now. He's uh, moving his big opponent around the court. Five. 
So it's unsighted. The umpire says he couldn't see what happened there. Certainly out that one. Six. Still in a pretty decent position here, Rod, and he's making life difficult for his opponents. Had Root on the floor there. Oh, Root has salvaged that. He looked to be in real trouble. And that's a credit to him. He stuck it out here to recover quickly. Christie looking to kill it. He misjudged that one. Perseverance from the German. Rotis keeping his lead to about two to three points. And he's not letting Christie get close to him just yet, and he's been aggressive at times. It's been very good to see. Oh. Now, Christie looking to try and close that gap if he can. Took his time, looked for that gap, and he picked a spot beautifully. Ten, seven. Well, it has been good so far. It's just a good psychological advantage for him. Oh, 
We're talking about picking the spots well. Christie's done the same, and he's within a point of his opponent. Nine, Hasn't been like that for a while, so... It's good for him. Now, can he draw level here? There you go, Christie. And that's finally found parity with his opponent. He was led pretty much from the start. Threw himself at that one. And so at the break, Fabian Roth is just in front. We'll take comfort from that. It's only by one, though. He leads 11 10 in the first game. Just out for Rod. Now this is where these experienced players like Christie start to make a difference. Challenge. Yeah, I thought I thought he has a case actually, uh, Jonathan Christie. I thought that was out. I don't know where I am, <laughs> very high up. Just in. He can't quite believe it. Challenge unsuccessful. He can't believe it. He's incredulous. Well, he feels that what he saw in the picture. It was on the other side of the line, of the tram line, on the doubles side of it. I think he was actually right when you look at that. Yeah, there's no doubt that was out, yeah. Um, so he felt that was outside the line, where the doubles area is, in the corner. Interesting. Yeah, she might have a case. So it's over. 
Okay, just try to place it. Remember, he's going against the drift. Those are the kind of shots that you would feel that he should be able to make. and get in front here, Christy, when it matters most towards the business end of the game. Is uh, really proving to be quite a tricky customer. Go down to the wire. Yeah, he's struggling, isn't he? Good times here, Christy. He's hit his mark. I thought that was excellent. Germany, well, I thought that was in. Out. It was called out. In fact, even uh, Christie was ready to challenge that one. It is out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Six over. Oh, oh, this is going to be tight now. 17. Play. Christy. Touch the net. I think he did. Oh, that's unfortunate for Rod. Oh, I think he just clipped it. The side view might give us a slightly better understanding what happened there, but yeah, the umpire saw it. There was absolutely no 
dissent from him. And all, anyway, even if that wasn't a fault, he was not in a position to get back. Christie would have put that away. Oh, oh off the serve. 18, that is massively frustrating for Christie. And he was in full control of the shot. That's, that's a give me yeah. point, isn't it? Ropes here a bit. Rot. Oh. So nicely done. 8. Jonathan Christie has played in the uh, Malaysia Open this year and was out in the round of 16. 18. Oh. Lost to Kenta Nishimoto. <laughs> then he was in the, the Open and got to the semis where he lost to Axelson very convincingly. Just in front here. Well, after the India Open, he won his next tournament, which was the Indonesia Masters back home, where he beat country Chico Oro Duardoyo. Then, at the All England, he was out in the first round. And same at the Asia Championships, and he had to give a walk over there to shoot G. Oh, another challenge. So I couldn't quite see that one, so let's see what has been decided here in the official review. out and that is huge for Jonathan Christie he's got two game points here Good and it yeah, that seemed almost like a little bit of a half-hearted appeal. Why not? Oh, oh, it's just in. So it was worth the ask, wasn't it? The challenge. It's in, which means Christie has won the first game. First game won by Indonesia, 21-18. And so Christie was probably behind for most of that mat of that game. Eventually wins it, 21-18. <laughs> 
sondern da fein bleiben. Winkel mit Winkel angreifen. Ja? Nicht zu so gierig werden, denken, jetzt ist meine Chance, sondern gut geduldig. Ja? Dass du sagst, dieses Ding wieder zwischen Aggressivität und Kontrolle. Manchmal ist es halt nicht die Chance, wo du voll drauf gehen kannst. Und es tut ihm viel, viel, viel mehr weh, wenn du mit Winkel angreifst, mit Schnitten angreifst. Bleib dabei. Ja, auch selbst wenn du meinst, jetzt ist die Chance. Ja, dann das ist die Chance für den Schnitt. Das ist nicht die Chance für den Hammer. Ja? Andere Situation, äh, Aufschlagssituation machst du sehr, sehr gut. Und er spielt halt ganz viel links. is trying to look to get over his the disappointment of that uh, last match. Of that last game, right? I think he was uh, pretty good, wasn't he? he Should have done better. Under a bit of a scare, yeah, so he's now going to make up for it. Now, remember, he's on the so called easy side going against the drift a little bit. That's nicely done by Rods. from Christie. Oh, it's quite like that, hasn't he, so far? Something on that, didn't he, Rhodes? But he oh, really could return that. I'm just trying to flip that back. Difficult. Rhodes is. It's not easy when you're playing someone so as experienced and as so well regarded as John De Christie. As we 
said he's uh, just in the world at the moment. And now he's, he feels into his groove. And you, you, you look at uh, Roach, who's only played on the international series so far this year. Lost in the opening round of the Estonian International in January. And then opening round of the Uganda International. Up to the quarterfinals of the Polish Open. Six, two. And only in the qualification rounds of the All Your Masters. Quarterfinal of the Dutch International. This most recent tournament was the Mexican International Challenge. That was in uh, earlier this month. Third of May, he was out for the round of 32. So it's tough for him at the moment. And now Christie is surging ahead. Just uh, losing his footing. It's his turn to play catch up, and that's the drift there playing its part. to see who now plays in the singles. Ginting, of course, is slightly higher ranked than Christie. Six over, nine, four. Against Thailand and then the quarterfinals. Decisions have had to be made. Very quick to the net. Five, ten. Watched over. Got that quick. Called out there. Six, 
First, I think uh, Roth thought that went against him. Field. He probably ought to have won. Seven, ten. He seemed uh, completely dominant in that rally, Jonathan Christie. Please point out which was playing a little bit of the mind games there Fabian. with that last shot. Fabian. So it is Christie in front here by four. Roth is proving to be quite troublesome for him. And it's quite nicely balanced. Christie in front here, having already taken that first game. And then with the idea to come to cross court, flat shaft to go, and then the lift to go. And when you lift to go, then bleib fine. Winkel. Glaub that. It's so good for him. Yeah, that's it. Ja, das ist ein Glauben. Du musst dran glauben, genau. Du kannst immer wieder zurückkommen. Ja, du bist du hast einen super Flow gerade, genau so weiter. Gib ruhig mal ab. Hold one, 20 seconds. Ja, komm mal her. Hold one, 20 seconds. So Rod now looking to close that gap again. Make things tricky for his opponent. talking about that this is kind of resilience about Roth. he's just not giving up the ghost he's perseveres works hard Thank you. he's kind of got his never so die attitude and he's refusing to be just shaken off like that nine twelve Yeah, this is better now, isn't it? From Christie. Oh. 
couple of times that's happened to him, Christy. To just try and finish this off. It's already past uh, the 40 minute mark. Serves over. Six points clear. Should be feeling that he's in the driver's seat now. Spirit has been chipped away at. Think about that, didn't we, Christy? He is out. Still has that six point lead, though. He's in a good position. Can he just finish this off? Now, oh, way, way off. So, this is what I mean by. Walt is quite happy to take whatever's coming at him. Much better from Rudd. Hey. He's put on a little run of points here, starting to narrow the gap a little bit. Oh. Yeah, this is good. 14, Only three points in it. Seconds. Feels he's starting to uh, wear away, but that well wide. 18, 14. has had a number of unforced errors today. <laughs> the Germans sensing something. Possibly a little ray of light here for their man.
<laughs> this is now becoming uncomfortable. Remember, he had a very good lead. Something like a six or seven point lead earlier. And it's been really very, very good. Yeah, he's just looking and now on his side to just disrupt that momentum of Rhodes. Good. They were just going cross court, weren't they? There's a little shots. <laughs> Exchanging shots like that, and his angle was much more acute. James and Christie's. Yesterday, we saw Ginting have a couple of tough moments against Brian Yang, who's uh, playing right now, actually, in court two. Finally, right, sets up match points. There are three of them here for John De Christie. Today, we've seen Christie struggle a little bit against Rod, so these are the things that need to be taken into consideration by the coaches for later in the tournament. win this match for John De Christie. It's not been a classic from him by any stretch. And you have to give a lot of credit to Fabian Roth the way he approached this. Never say die attitude that made things very tough for his opponent at times. And he can hold his head up high, Fabian Roth, for the ways that he has played this today. But it is John De Christie who has won the match here. And uh, Christy, and he, we just hope that he gets into more of a groove later on. So, John De Christie beats Fabian Rutz 21 18, 21 17 in 47 minutes means Indonesia have taken a 2-0 lead here in the tie. And they feel pretty good about themselves. Overall, still three more matches to come. And with the next one, they have won the tie, one that they wouldn't be expected to anyway. And that's in the women's singles. Gregoria Maniska Tunjung takes on Yvonne Lee.
So there you go, there's some of the supporters here at the Sudirman Cup. Good to see Malaysia. international supporters as well. All looking forward to seeing their teams in action here. This is the order of play so far. Two wins out of two for Malaysia, for Indonesia, excuse me. With both of them, one in straight games. We're now going into that third match shortly. So coming up now, the women's singles, Gregoria Mariska Tunjong up against Yvonne Lee. Well, as it is with that, any, every one of these uh, meetings so far, Indonesia will be the favourite here. As I mentioned earlier, Tundrung was the only survivor overnight to represent Indonesia for a second day in a row. She, you would think she probably gets rested against Thailand. That'll be interesting to see. They've went three times before, and uh, she has won all three of them. Tundrung, in the last meeting, was in the Japan Open. Tundrung won that 21-9, 21-7. In fact, she's thrashed. Her opponent every time she's played 21 10, 21 14 at the Thomas and Uber Cup finals that was in uh, 2020. And uh, that same year, the Thailand Masters, she won 21 14, 21 13. So none of the matches have ever exceeded 29 minutes. What will happen here? Again, she will be feeling pretty confident of herself. Tunjung, who's at 23 right now and uh, playing her best ever badminton, 10th in the world. It's been a good few months for her. From Central Java. That's the German Cup bronze medal winner before 2019 as a bronze in the Asian Games, the women's team event. Asia Team Championships, she was part of the team that won the gold last year. And a bronze in 2018, Southeast Asian Games. She's won silvers in 2019 and 21. Bronzes between 2015 and 21. Women's team and women's singles events. Yvonne Lee is from the northern part of Germany, 24 years of age. Born in Hamburg. She is currently uh, 27th in the world. The best was 23rd, that was in March of 21. There's not a massive gap in the rankings, to be fair. One is uh, for the European Mixed Team Championship, silver in 2019, and four bronzes between 2015 and 23. A silver, a couple of silvers in 2018 and 2020 in the European Women's Team Championships. A couple of bronzes in 2014 and 2016. Has finished a runner-up in the BWF World Tour once before, the Salo Lux Open. Losing to Kirsty Gilmore. And at the International Challenge Series level, she's won four titles, the most recent being the Welsh International in 2022. You contrast that with uh, Tunjung, who's won one title. That was a Spain Masters early this year. And she uh, beat PV Sindhu in the final there. And she was runner up at the Australian Open last year against Ansa Young. Our buyer is Kang Sun Young from Korea. Oh my God. 
Felipe Lopez to Araujo from Brazil, our service judge. And on my left, Indonesia, represented by Gregoria Maritska Tunjo. Indonesia to serve, long ball, play. Start, isn't it from uh, Dunjung who beat Talia Ung yesterday 21 14 21 13 very very confident from her straight points comes to an end. Yeah, found a mark beautifully. Tunjung has uh, just grown from strength to strength, hasn't she? In the uh, last year or so. Drift that she has to battle against. She did well this time. Tunjung qualifying for the Tokyo Olympics, clearly in there as a sole Indonesian women's representative in singles. Regarded as the next big hope for Indonesian women's singles since uh, Susi Susanti. struggling there's no doubt and this is I'm afraid sort of uh, familiar territory at the moment she's got to snap herself out of it today as well she had a tough time of it she played Pon Pabi Chochuong and lost in half an hour 721 1221 it looks like it's going to be unless she does something quite drastic here another chastening defeat Uh, was right about this one. Oh, <laughs> that is about as tight as it gets. How close is that? Worth a shout, unfortunate for Tunjung. Yeah, better for Lee, she's playing a few more points. Yeah, 
That should be out. So at the interval, Tunjong leads Lee by seven points. 11-4, she's up. And looking very good at the moment. Nicely done by Lee. Could we get? She wanted out of that one. Uh, Tunjo looking to. Oh, you got to put some height on those. On those lifts. Difficult. Easier said than done, of course. Lovely. It's just effortless. On Tunjung. Again, to just chip away at that as much as possible, Yvonne Lee. Was that good? It was. Seven, so she's leading 3-1 uh, since the interval. Disappointing factor for us so far. Two or three points here or there, but nowhere near enough. Jones to lose, isn't it? This first game. Nine points. Difficult here for Yvonne Lee, feel. Got down low. Ah, oh, that's one. Can she might feel that she should put away? That was just the trajectory a little too high.
Gone long, and this one now makes it to jump. There's plenty of breathing space. Von Lee's hope is to cut that lead down as she can. So, game points now in hand for Tunjo. 12 of them. So, Tunja puts on a very good first game here against Yvonne Lee. And she'll be delighted with how she's played. Really got off to a terrific start. And gave no quarter to Yvonne Lee. It is 21 8 to Gregoria Mariska Tunja. Same really from Tunjung, how she approached that first game. Remember, because she played twice, she just want to finish this off. That's a nice start there for Yvonne Lee. View. She's matching her opponent for now. Thank you. Yeah, so, as I mentioned, uh, the Tunjung having played yesterday and today, her aim is to try and finish this as fast as possible, maximize that recovery. 
She does have a day off tomorrow, regardless if she has chosen to play. That's Thailand. Of course, these players are used to playing on a daily basis. They do so. Tournaments. Not going to be that difficult for them in that sense. But, uh, any rest is most welcome. Ah, just misjudged that and actually wrong footed herself. Sun Jung. First time really that uh, Yvonne Lee has had a lead in this entire match. Uh, can she build on this? There's the drift playing its part. One. Let's have a look at uh, what Yvonne Lee has done this year. At the start of the year at the uh, Malaysia Open. Lost in the opening round of that and the, sorry, the Malaysia Open and the India Open. As well as the Indonesia Masters. Got to the second round of the German Open, a home tournament. And the All England, which lost Akane Yamaguchi. Got a decent performance up there. Maintains her lead. Second round of the uh, Swiss Open as well. She was eliminated. Her best performance so far has been at the All Your Masters. She's got to the semi finals, so it's not been a fantastic year for her in that sense. in Yeah, she was really moving Yvonne Lee around a lot. Pushed her to that forehand side. Continually going after that.
better from Tunjung now. Her moment to try and take the lead here. So we've seen that her opponent's record hasn't been great. She kicked off 2023 with a second round exit at the Malaysia Open against Taiwan's uh, Chinese Taipei's Su Wen Chi. Despite an impressive victory against Her Big in the first round. Goes out. And lost in the second round of the India Open, this time to the Korean second seed Ansi Young. In a home tournament. Indonesia Masters she lost the quarterfinals against the eight seed and former World Junior Championship rival Han Yue. She was part of the uh, Indonesia team of the Badminton Asia Mixed Team Championships. They exited at the quarterfinals against Korea. Visible signs of progress. A quarterfinal finish at the All England Open, where she gave a tough fight against uh, the fourth seed and Olympic gold medalist Chen Yufei. That continued in the Swiss Open, where she faced the eventual champion Pompei Chochuwong in the semi-finals, and then winning the first ever PWF World Tour title at the Spain Masters against PV Sindhu in the final. Also, the first time she ever beat Sindhu. Eight matches. Tunjung finally in front here. If only will at least be glad that she's gone past the eight points she scored in the first match, in the first game. Probably the longest rally we had. I think there were a couple of moments there where Tunjung could have let that go. Instead, it was Lee who won the point in the end. In fact, Lee, who goes into the lead here at the interval. Stunning turnaround. She's 11-10 up in game two after Tunjung won the first game very comfortably. Difficult 
Got to do very much with that. Giving the net. Well, tight call, tight one, this one. Hard to see. Thought she may have a case here for Von Lee. It's still kicked out, but yeah, exactly right. Correction out. Very nicely done there. Sub syllable 12, 11. Still just in front eight. here, Yvonne Lee. Ball on the ground here, Tunju. Back in front. Now, too clear here, Tunju. This, for a start, is about to become the longest ever match played between these two. She's never scored more than 14 points, by the way, Yvonne Lee, against... Tunjung, mind you, she'd never scored less than nine before today, and she's already done that in the first game. So it's the lowest ever points total. In the game, already scored now, but the second game, she might actually score the most ever points. Let's see. And got herself into position well, cross score on the smash. Good work from Tunjung. Yeah, not enough height and depth on that lift. So this has officially become the longest match in terms of duration. 30 minutes now we're on, on the clock between Tundring and Lee in their now four meetings.
similarly, as uh, what I was saying earlier, is. Uh, Janssen and Efla scored. Oh. It was their quickest match. They lost in just two games for the first time against Rob Rivaldi and Peter Huntington Asmentari. Oh. Scored their lowest points ever against them as well. She finishes off three points needed for Tunjung. Oh, that was beautifully done down the line. No chance for Lee. And Tunju continues her 100% record against Yvonne Lee. We will look back at the fact that uh, she scored a lowest number of points in the game against her opponent, but then equal the highest number of points in the second game. And these are all scant rewards statistics for you. They're not going to really matter too much to her. Because she's been completely outplayed by Tunjung, who was just too good on the day again. And it's a four wins against Yvonne Lee. Gregoria Mariska Tunjung of Indonesia has beaten Germany's Yvonne Lee 21 8, 21 14. She's done it in 33 minutes. So Indonesia have won this tie. They've uh, already beaten Germany 3-0, but we still have two more matches to come. Next up is men's doubles. Leo Roli Carnando and Daniel Martin take on Mark Lamsfus and Marvin Seidel. And that match is up next. Very impressive buildings here. There's the uh, Sucho IHS, the tallest building in the city. Uh, just a bit taller than the gate of the Orient you saw earlier. Another spectacular bit of architecture here is the Sucho Olympic Sports Center, which is uh, the backdrop for the Total Energies BWF Sudirman Cup Finals 2023. Indonesia have already beaten 
Germany in this tie. There are still two matches still to come, though, just to uh, make sure that all points and uh, games accrued are counted. And we're now into the fourth match. It's going to be the men's double shortly. So, men's doubles now here at the Sudirman Cup as Leo Roli, Canando and Daniel Martino for Indonesia take on Mark Lumsfus and Marvin Seidel of Germany. And uh, conventional wisdom would uh, say that this might actually be the, uh, this would be the closest of the matches. Closest in terms of uh, rankings and all that, so we'll uh, get to that in a bit. And the only ones who won yesterday against Thailand as well. First meeting between these pairs, by the way. So Leo Roli Carlando is 21, he's uh, 171 centimetres tall, currently playing uh, 11th in the world, he were uh, 10th just a couple of months ago. He was a gold medal winner with the Thomas Cup in 2020, which team championships got a silver. 
Southeast Asian Games, a gold in the men's doubles and a bronze in the men's team event in 2021. Uh, also 21, Daniel Martini is 182 centimeters tall, six foot from the capital Jakarta. He is uh, 11, sorry, he is uh, also a former, former world junior champions in uh, boys doubles. Mark Lumsfuss is 29, he's even taller, 186, currently 18th in the world. So there's not much difference, as I said. Uh, they have reached as high as 11th. That was only a few months ago in September of 2022. World Championships bronze medal last year in mixed doubles, by the way. Marvin Seidel is uh, the tallest of them all at 190. He is uh, the former European champion last year in men's doubles. Got a silver in 2021. European champion with uh, Mark Lums first, I should say, as well. European Mixed Team Championships, a silver in 2019. Three bronzes between 2017 and 2023. And uh, European Men's Team Championships, a couple of bronzes, 2016 and 2018. The Germans have won one title on the BWF World Tour. That was in the Orleo Masters back in 2018. So Mark Lums first is very accomplished mixed doubles player as well. Ready to play? And World Championships with, with Isabel Lohau. And they got that bronze. Carnando and Martin, they have won titles recently. Thailand Masters. And Indonesia, Ma Indonesia Masters both this year. Emmanuel Gabotsele of Botswana is the umpire. Henrik Boss also of uh, Denmark is your service judge. He also won the Singapore Open last year at the Indonesian. So they've had a pretty good 2023. In fact, they've won 16 matches out of 23 this year. Overall, out of 197 matches, they've won 148 of them. So about 70, 75% win rate over their careers. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Germany represented by Marvin Fidel and Mark Lumsfors. And on my left, Indonesia, represented by Leo, Roli, Canado, and Daniel Martin. Hey! Germany to serve, Marvin Fidel, Daniel Martin, Laval, play. Yesterday it was uh, the Minions. Marcus Fernaldi get in and Kevin Sanjay Sukumulia who represented Indonesia in the men's doubles. They've got three men's doubles here. That's very, very strong in that department. Rafael and Ardianto. That's good. And this could well be the first uh, potential upset.
Yeah, Sakadam Vasquez is put away by Carnando. Points here. That Five, lead increased to two. three now. Played that late. Always run that risk, don't you? Because you Seven. can't quite get the power you want on that shot. Fernando is uh, waiting just to pounce. Kills that off quickly. Well, told you yesterday that uh, Germany lost 4 1 to Thailand. Four. Hey. Only successful. High. That's the first one I think I've. Service hey. over. Three. Service to Seven. my fault. I think that's the first one I've had uh, all. Tournament in three days. Could it be finished? And it has been by Martin. It's nice. More subtlety this time from him. Lamsfuss and Seidel beat Subhajumko and Kittinupong Kedrin. 2 1 yesterday. Oh. Right now at the net, they are snaffling everything. Nine, three. Yeah, and Seidel beat them 21 7, 13 21, 21 12. Creeping in, which is why Martin could take a chance. Yeah, there are slightly evasive maneuvers there from the Indonesians. Coach certainly seems to like it. Two there, he was sort of on the back foot, wasn't he? Ten, five. Side up. A very, very good start for Cardano Martin here. And they go into the interval here for game one. 11 5 up. And firm control. Going in and How do we 
Eleven five. Second time that has happened now to the Indonesians in about 10 minutes. Well, not 10 minutes, this match has only lasted 8 minutes so far. Last 3 4 minutes, I should say. Better, better response since the break. Very tough when you're in that kind of position. It's, you can hear the almost a groan. So far, the Germans are leading since the interval. Play. 69 23, they've won this year. Very good for Martin and Fernando. Only 5 out of 11 for Lamsworth and Seidel. But that drift goes a little long. Nine, twelve. Overall, they've won 139 out of 100, out of 242 Five. matches. So just over, just over 50 percent win rate. In this one. Fourteen, nine. Not supposed to throw himself at that. Yeah. Lots of instructions coming out. Lots of chat as well between them. Okay, a little bit late there by Martin. Didn't help them.
good variation. Nicely done by Martin. Down the line a few times. Use some power and finesse. And on the backhand. The lead is now five. It is four all since the interval. Yeah. Still looking pretty good here, the uh, Indonesians. It's better though, you feel overall from Lumsfuss and Seidel. That was an awkward one, wasn't it, for Carnando? of very good points here for the Germans. 12, hey. Hey. Well, they to oh, that gap is down to three. This is good. As far as I'm concerned. Pressure now starting to be applied on Canando and Martin. Look back at uh, what they've done so far this year. Lobs was inside out on the second round of the Malaysia Open to start of the year. Got to the quarterfinals, lost to Alfen and Adianto, other Indonesians, two other Indonesians in the India Open. Out in the first round, Indonesia Masters. The lead has been whittled down to just one. Four points in a row there for Lamsfuss and Seidel. Eliminated the second round of the German Open. And the opening round of the All England. Yeah. Hey. Opening round of the Swiss Open as well. It's the last time they played together in March. So it's been a long, long time. That was excellent. The Germans keeping at the task, and they have drawn level. Looked for all intents and purposes, and the Indonesians were in full control. Hey. Boy, that has changed, isn't it? Well, they were absolutely desperate to stop that run of points. Snatching at that one, Carnando, perhaps. This is tight. 
That's just the side of the field. The momentum overall is theirs. They've won. Oh! oh. I think I might have just jinxed that. They've won five of the last six points. Too high again. Third time that's happened in this game. Service over. 17. Oh. Hey. He doesn't look too impressed, does he? Just out, or they're gonna challenge, gonna challenge that. I think that was out, frankly. Yeah, that's very clearly out. There you go. Confirmation of that. Challenge has successful. What challenge remaining? Challenge hey. over. 18, 17. Play. Killed it off there. They can now. Ganando. So just in front. Wow. First time that's happened for the Germans. Four times now. I've not seen that in any of the previous matches. Uh, that would be 10 plus 2. That three, 13 matches so far, and then I've seen four now in this one match alone. So we have two game points here for the Indonesians. And they do take it, it's a tight one for the Indonesians who were cruising earlier. Have held their nerve a little bit because they were leading by five or six earlier. They've won this one by three. And that's a little credit to Lumsfuss and Sider, who never gave up. Again, that's been the yeah. so, way of Germany today. We just keep on what, what we agreed on. The rallies in the end become a little too like... 21 18. Like, you read that when you got it, it was with hard ones, and then you find your block gaps, especially. So you need that back. So remember to push and then find the block gap a little earlier. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. I read now. Leo, kalau di depan, kalau di depan jangan terlalu masuk dia jalannya setengah setengah lu jaga. Kalau 
Danielnya lagi di belakang tang terus agak mundur bantung nih nggak reketin jangan dibawa jangan mundur harus mundur kayak itu tidak mungkin tidak mungkin tuh tuh taruh taruh kasih sorok taruh aja ya lu di belakangnya nih sekali kan di sorok lu terima lu passing dia maju kan kamu panjang dong dia pasti maju ini manjang manjang ini kan nobelok melurus lu panjangnya aja tapi ya ya atau kedua defendnya jangan buka defendnya manjangin Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Second game, slap ball, play. Hey, come on! Service over, one, love. Well, Canando and Martin will know that this has been very, very tight. And that they can push. They can be pushed by Lumsworth and Seidel. Yeah, it's the Germans who've got this lead at the moment. Good work on the say on the serve. Three love. Well, it was an excellent start, wasn't it, from Lasmus and Seidel? Really been very good. And Martin now trying to get back into this. Hey. Hey. Service over, five, one. The deficit is four. Keeping that distance, aren't they? Moment. Look at uh, Fernando Martinez. Starting the year not so well. Out of the second round of the Malaysian Open, got to the first round of the India Open, losing to compatriots Gideon and Supermulio. That's good. The lead is now five. It's time to be getting very difficult now, the Indonesians. 
They then won their home tournament, Indonesia Masters. That was a raucous one that day. And then won back-to-back -back tournaments with the Thailand Masters. In the All England, they were knocked out in the quarterfinals. In the opening round of the Swiss Open. Before being defeated again in the opening round of the Spain Masters. At the uh, Nine, Masters, they got to two. the quarterfinals. Oh, sorry, the semi finals. Been remarkable turnaround here. And Lumpsless and Sider with a massive eight point lead. <laughs> and it would appear now that if they can maintain this, we are going into a third game. We said Lumpsless and Sider would be uh, probably Germany's greatest hope of getting at least a point here. They're on track. They just want to keep doing what they're doing. This has been excellent. Now, post interval, always interesting to see that change of momentum. I was just telling you that uh, Fernando Martin, all the masters, was, they were knocked out in the semis and then in the Asia Championships, they were knocked out in the first round. So they've had a bit of an up and down year so far. In, uh, 12, 4. 2023. Oh. So a couple of good points. It's still a long, long way to go for the Indonesians. like that. I don't, there's no cause for concern yet for Lumsfuss and Seidel. But they'll be wary that the Indonesians are starting to look a little dangerous. Get that over. First point sits the break. Oh! 
So the count at the moment is 4-1 in favor of the Indonesians. As we said earlier, they want to try and get to around three points or so. The deficit just to keep that pressure on. Well, this has been excellent. Really good from Canado Martin now. Can they maintain it? A couple more points, and uh, the Germans will start to get a bit nervy, perhaps. Oh, great work from Martin on the backhand. Kept at it. Four points now the gap. Remember, it was a whopping eight. They've halved it. Oh. Oh. Wow, this has been brilliant. It really has been from Fernando Martin. The lead is now down to three. They've scored eight of the last nine points. Oh, oh. Too high. how frustrating. Just when they were looking to put that pressure on. Three times, uh, four times, I think, for the Indonesians, once for the Germans for that service fault. Oh. Way too wide. And they're uh, looking just to restore. 15, 10. Yeah, that lead, or at least build it up. So it's at uh, five points. In a decent position here. The Germans. Oh. This is still this has become a lot tighter. Remember, it was 11 3, so they've scored it's 8 4 right now to the Indonesians since the break. So a net gain of four points, and that's why they're only four behind. Right back in this. Oh. Too long, that's the uh, drifty side. Three points can Calando Martin get that even closer. Oh. Uh, when under gets here to snatch at that. They need to claw back that deficit very shortly. Lampus and Sido already on sixteen. Not ready yet. Start again. Oh. That's a 
the danger you run on that side. And lift or clears. Just creeping out. Hey! Yeah, it was the shot before that from my team, but shouldn't have enough height and depth on it. So, four points, the gap between them. Four is what Lumsfuss and Seidel need to win this. Marvin Seidel, starting badminton. Being recommended to advise parents, says he also loves golfing, fishing, and oh. playing pool. Challenges called outs. So three points the gap right now. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Three points. Oh, it's gone long. Now down to two. Oh, that is really quite nervy for the Germans. Suicidal, I'm nearly there. Try to go for broke there, Fernando. Now we are 
now on three games point game points for Lumsworth and side up. Fascinating this isn't it at the moment. <laughs> the Indonesians still trying to. But it is all square here. Let's have another look at this. They said they weren't ready. Too bad, says the umpire. And they have now level things here. 21 17 lumps for some side up. We're going to go into a third. sana menang anginnya kan lebih coba servisnya di, di, di dorong manjang itu sampai disorong manjang ya ya oke okay, megang megang tuh saya nolokin nggak kalau nggak 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 bisa nggak bisa nggak bisa banyak mainnya ya satu kedua kalau Leo di belakang jangan messing messing dia masuk itu tuh tuh si panjang panjangin aja dan ini juga udah tahu kan jangan 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 messing dia masuk lo manjang manjang ya ini tuh dia lebih mau Germans would be delighted they won that. You have to look at the fact that probably a lot closer than they would have wanted given that an eight-point lead. But Fernando Martin will be stung by this. And dropped uh, a game, though this is a very good men's double spell at Longsworth and Seidel. This takes us. Yeah. I said stung into action, and I think this is the reaction to it. And under my team. We love up already very quickly. Too high. Once again, a familiar problem afflicting the Indonesians. I think that's a fifth time now. Fernando there on the ground and that's where you got to aim at that's where they're vulnerable did well to get it back to be fair Thank you. 
gone long. Remember, they're back on this drifty Four, side. Three. And we'll swap ends at the interval. Not that up, I think, just had the coach there. Five. Bemused look, isn't it? Yeah. Ramsfors is uh, not amused. Time for the Germans now to be having the same problem with the service. Seven times, I think I've counted. I don't think I've ever had a match with this many. Feel to this, unlike maybe the other two games where one of the two sides had a, a very good start. Cheered on by the Indonesian camp now. much trading points at the moment these two these two pairs making it very hard to see where this is going just yet oh yeah could have played the kill with the power on that but uh, decided not too much and it worked out for him there you go Nine, 
waiting out in the field. It's about experience who can hold that nerve. Still some way to go in this one. Hey! Ten. Eight. To this interval with the lead. So that's hey! advantage, perhaps, and that is exactly what's happening Ten. here for Lampswurz and Seidel. 11 8, they have it in game three. That's a really good rush in the second game, find this again, okay? Yeah. When we served to the tall guy, I think you had one where it was a little outside and just straight into the net, so maybe turns in there as well? Yeah. Are there a lot of spin in his serve? Or can we do a lot of... Can we do a short one? Yeah, okay. That would be nice, I think. I think yeah. we can get a lift that way. Okay? Court one. Keep being fast. Seconds. We're getting good positions. Court one. Okay. Yes. 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 second part of the game remember how good they were in the early stages of uh, post interval in the last game Fernando Martin that's what they kind of need to do now hey! be aggressive again Germans are doing what they can on the sidelines here. Trying to get their team going. They'd love to get a point here. Five. 15, 9. Go either way, still, still in that balance, isn't it? Good defending. Oh. Two ahead now, long switch inside up.
easily put away. We're all square here. Just under him, he was in an awkward position there, side up. Didn't really get the purchase he wanted. Now have a look at this. There you go, he's kind of leaning backwards at the time. And uh, for the first time in a long time, the Indonesians are back in front. Guess what? I think that's a ninth service, service fault 14, in this 15. game, in this match. Uh, maybe Canada. what's that, six or seven? Canada. Seeking clarification. Exactly There's a bit of tension with this, with these calls. The, yeah, as I said, it's a constant, just raising it a little too hard. Of course, subs have the, uh, come into the uh, four, haven't they, in the last few days? With the spin serve temporarily banned. It was the news that came out just on the eve of this different Cup. Phenomenal that uh, has been happening. Martin shakes his head. from Fernando. Oh! 
just gone long. This now two point lead, a vital two point lead. It could make all the difference. Good. Seven, nine, if they're below seven, eight, eight, eight. Germans are again pushing their players forward. Too much on that wrong side up. It's 18 all, wow. Fernando Martin. Just Carnando. See it all. Wow. That was a great rally, wasn't it? Adding to the drama. 19 all. Well, at least there are some smiles out there. Oh, he's really taking his time here. Time to put that one away. And they have a match point. Lamsfus and Sido. And they convert this and pull one back for Germany. They can indeed. For the second day in a row, Mark Lamsfus and Marvin Seidel restore some pride for Germany. They've been the only bright spark thus far and have won both their matches. Came back from the dead. Almost made it very difficult for themselves. Carnando, by the way, is still trying to clarify on the serves. It doesn't matter, it's all academic. Real delight. And Germany, while they've already lost this tie, they've at least just given themselves a real boost to have won this match. These two have been excellent today and throughout this tournament. And uh, they get the plaudits of their teammates. A fine, fine win for the Germans here. And I'll have it to do again. 
against Canada in their final match. So Mark Wamsfuss and Marvin Seidel beat Leo Roli Karnando and Daniel Martin 18-21, 21-17, 21-19. They've done it in an hour and eight minutes. Up next, it's women's doubles, the fifth and final match in this tie. Suzhou Olympic Sports Centre, really state-of-the-art modern facility built uh, five years ago. And it also includes the indoor arena where we are for the Total Energy's BWF Sudirman Cup Finals 2023. And we're into the fifth and final match here in the tie between Indonesia and Germany. And this final one is in the women's doubles. So up next, Aprian Rahayu and Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti of Indonesia take on Sheena Kuspert and Emma Mojinski of Germany. Final match, and these two will have been given a boost by what they just saw from Lamsworth and Seidel. So there's been one prior meeting, Indonesians won that yeah, one, it was at the Malaysia Black Open last year. Black. First game Black. was very tight, second Black. one was very one-sided. So, let's have a look at our competitors here. With Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti, 22 years of age, 162 centimeters tall, the highest ranking actually. It's, uh, fourth with uh, this current partner, currently sixth in the world. Afriani Raho is uh, 25 now. Jesus, she's been around forever. 63 centimeters tall, sixth in, uh, right now, but of course, when she was with Gracia Pauli, fantastic times with her as a former 
Olympic champion. It's their best, her best ever ranking. That was in uh, September 2018. They won the gold at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. More than that in just a while. Emma Wojcicki is uh, 21 from Hamburg. 169 centimeters tall. 51st in the world. Her highest is 35th. Stina Kuschbert is 23 from Bremen, also Northern Germany. And uh, these two have it all to do here, don't they? Young pair. She's won uh, the women's doubles all your masters last year. Pushpet. And the Canadian International Challenge as well. It was in mixed doubles. Ukraine Open in 2022. In both mixed and women's doubles. Rahai is the has had two bronze medals in uh, World Championships. That was with uh, Gracia Poli. So the World Cup, she's got bronze. 2019 Asian Games, she got two bronzes in a home game in Jakarta. Council Young's the service judge. And Andrea uh, Chiappini of. Italy, the umpire. There's plenty of medals in the Southeast Asian Games as well. For Ampliani Rahayu. And uh, in terms of. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Germany. BWF World Tour. Represented by Emma Mosinski, Christine Kusper. From the left, Indonesia. Represented by. Adriani Arayu and Siti Fadia Silva Ramadan. Germany to serve. Emma Mosinski to Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti. Level play. Hey. Well. To the Indonesians have won the Malaysia and Singapore Opens together last year. And uh, the Indonesia Masters, they were runners up last year as well. She was with Grisha Poli. They won uh, six titles together in about uh, three years. They were a pretty good pair together, weren't they? And of course, culminating in that gold medal at the Olympics, which is when not long after Grisha Poli uh, retired. of meeting each other. Not oh, been a good year for Mozinski and uh, Kuspert. Just one win in seven so far. That's 
Ramadanti and Rahayu, they've won 12 out of 18 this year. Spurt. That's just wide. Right, it's a fairly new pairing. And she's got that power, hasn't she, Rahayu? Right? And the few that you know, women doubles players or really goes in for the jump smashers. Along in those circumstances, and a big smile. Still keeping pace with each other. Well, Kuspert and Mashinsky, just like Yvonne Lee and Lamsworth inside, have played yesterday. And uh, they were pretty much outplayed. They lost to Kitty Taraku and Pra Jong Jai. Straight games. 13 21, 12 21. Serving from the Indonesians in both this match and the last one, I think have left a fair bit to be desired. Done that. Oh, 
court area, she's been good. Ramadanti. Just in front here, Rahayu and Ramadanti. Wouldn't go over. So it's Rahayu Ramadanti who in front. A little surge just towards the end of that first period. And they lead 11 8. Yeah, where Wojcicki was out on the court, as long as she connected with that, the way she was shaping up to, it was always uh, destined to be a winner. Well played there from the coach. You know that all this at the moment isn't helping. to that one. Now more comfortable for the Indonesians. Five points. The gap between the two.
Yeah, there's his air of resignation now. Well, perhaps this is a step too far in this game. Both going for that shot. the lead they have now. Just with six points in, in this, Ramadanti will feel in a great position to take this into a second game. Resistance here, right towards the end. Hey! Hey! No chance. Game point. Six game Four points game. now. Yes, 
this uh, challenge. Well, why not? Right at the end of this first game, might as well have a go. But it is a good call indeed. Wow. It's as right as you can get. Yeah, Kuspert and Mozinski have a stay of execution. So the Indonesians take the first game. Kispert and Mashinsky can be quite proud of what they did. It's much better than their first match yesterday. They've already scored more points here than they did in either one of those two games. But they're going to have to play much better, though, if they want to stay in this match. For now, the Rahayu and Ramadanti have taken it 21-15. Challenge them all there. Also, when she's at the net, really think like, okay, this girl I can challenge, the other girl I kind of want to get away from. Yeah? Super. You See how the Germans do here in this second game. Oh! A big shout from them. I think they're up for this, aren't they? We've seen how the Germans have been overall today in that sense. Two. 
plus a discussion here from the Germans. Yeah, they're up, they're up for it, as I said, they feel that they are in a better position here now. Kushbet runs ahead in agreement. Sometimes you've just got to rein in your aggressive streak, your desire to try and win points quickly. Not to be your undoing. Well, that's disappointing for Ramadanti because she will be not on favour to have won that point at the net. a bit more subtle. Frustrated, a bit of frustration there in Kuspet's face. This person tells you what you need to know. felt like the Indonesians were in control of that rally for much of it. Couldn't finish it off.
Brzezinski just hesitating at the net. More rallies now, as you can see. Germany. 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 Yeah, the uh, umpire feeling that this is going a little too slow for his liking. I have a point there. Still in front here, Rahu and Ramadanti. They've got the Germans right on their tail. Slipping there, Ramadanti. Eight. Needs to have that wiped down. with that one, Mazinski and Rahayu Ramadanti go into the interval, 11-8 up, having won that first game, they're in a good position. She's only been serving once so far, so we just jump into it and maybe we can hold it short or we can find this uh, shooting gap. And then when we are out of the service situation, neutralized it, then we just play on, okay? Yeah, but still have this mindset, like we want to put pressure when they serve, and when we serve, we swing already, okay? So into this uh, second half, or possibly the second half of this match, the last part of this match. Let's see.
Minnesota, 10, 13. Yeah, this is still quite hey. evenly hey. poised. Coach's face wasn't, uh, didn't look too impressed there. Ah! Too much on that for Rahayu. Live there, Rahayu. Oh, yeah, they're enjoying it. So is that coach. He feels it. Still in this. Battling hard. Again, would have felt that she would have been favoured to get that over. It was a great opportunity. vibes at the moment. It's clear there's uh, John De Christie on the loud hailer. Yeah. Oh, the 
of shouts here. They're a little bit louder, aren't they, from the Germans? Because they sense that they are pouring their pressure on. Just within two, and they have to make their move very, very shortly. Otherwise, Come on, target Ramadanti. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I heard from the coach. Go after Ramadanti. for a while and then all of a sudden they went after Ramadanti. It worked. She got a good, good reaction to get it back the first time. It's just one point in it now. Interesting here now. <laughs> hey, Ramadanti, we want to finish this off. Can they hold their nerve? They looked pretty comfortable earlier. Well, that will be a relief. Ramadanti gets the winner there. Two points required. Do at that point. set off match point. two match points Finish this off. Hey. Ah! It's still alive. Unable to rubber dancy. It's a amusing, amused look on the face of the coach.
match point. Ohio. Oh, she can't put it in. Caught earlier in the rally, they might have gone out. And then enjoying themselves. Determination from the Germans has been stupendous today. Now we need a winner by two clear points here. So one down. It's their third match point. To a 3 2. Even though it's a loss, that would be morale boosting. Oh, it's a lovely return of serve there from uh, this bet. Quite too much on that, wasn't it? And Pike, she took it early. Oh, it's out. The Germans are feeling the moment is with them. Just crept out. It was worth a challenge. It was certainly out, wasn't it? And now, game point for the Germans. Oh, she was on the floor there, Mazinski. Much you could do with that. The drama this. Right at the end of this tie. It is academic, of course, but try telling that to these players. Germany. by two points now. <laughs> oh, it doesn't clear the net. Another game point here. It's in, it's good. It's been the Germans in the last few minutes who've been putting the pressure on the Indonesians. They want to get back to having a match point. And they set it up, they set it up, another match point. Did he? 
Ephesians convert this one. Four match points now. Finally they do it. Excellent work from the Indonesians, but the Germans have really played their part in this today. And not just in this match, but overall the tie, because they have been dogged, resilient, they persevered, they fought hard, they showed a lot of determination. Yes, they've fallen short, they were never really down to win this tie, but they have certainly been good value today. And they pushed the Indonesians in throughout. Some good moments. They came agonizingly close here, Kuspert and Mashinsky, to try and uh, win the second game and force a third. It wasn't to be. Certainly, I'm sure these two did not want to go there. And they're just reviewing things now. This is that winning point. Madanti to Kuzbert, couldn't get it, but return it. Real delight. So Indonesia march on as we look at this result here. Apriani Rahayu and Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti to Germany's Tina Kuzbert and Emma Mozinski. 21-15, 25-23, they've done it in 49 minutes. As we look back then at the results here on court one in this tie between Indonesia and Germany. We started with the mixed doubles. Rinov Rivaldi and Peter Harintias Mentari were pushed in the first game by uh, Jonas Ralfi Janssen and Linda Elfler, but Effler, but they won the second one very convincingly, 21-7. In the men's singles, you have to give a lot of credit to Fabian Roth who fought so, so hard. And while he lost both games, Christy did not find it all that straightforward. He won 21-18, 21-17. Gregorio Meneska Tundrik had probably the most uh, one-sided of the matches uh, today. She beat Yvonne Lee, uh, who conceded her least number of points uh, in the first game, but then equaled the most number of points against her opponent. They've now lost, she's now lost all four matches. Into the uh, men's doubles, and uh, Leo Roli Carnando and Daniel Martin uh, actually lost that one. And the only point of the day, Mark Lumsfuss and Marvin Seidel came back after losing the first game to win it 2-1. And finally, we've just seen Apriani Rahayu and Siti Faria Silva Ramadanti beat Stina Kuspert and Emma Mushinsky in straight games. So that brings things to an end here at the uh, Tuto Olympic Sports Centre. We leave you with these wonderful sights of this uh, amazing city. Uh, Indonesia have defeated Germany 4-1. That's two wins out of two. They are through to the next round. And there is going to be, that's quarterfinals. At five o'clock, we'll have China against Singapore right here on court one. So, thanks a lot for joining us. And we'll see you back here in just under two and a half hours from now.